Now, let's review three minor adjustments you may need to make to Hollister Whitney governors. Before a governor leaves the Hollister Whitney factory, we test the pull through or how much pressure it takes to pull the cable through the hammerhead assembly, which activates the safety. It can be measured in the field by using the elevator car to pull the cable through the governor and measuring the tension using a spring scale. Set the pull through pressure to the required tension to activate the safety by loosening the lock nut on the hammerhead assembly. Then adjust the spring pressure by turning the adjusting nut for more or less pressure. When proper pressure is attained, tighten the lock nut against the pressure adjusting nut. Another adjustment is to check the actual trip speed of the governor. Use a variable speed electric drill with a drive wheel to rotate the governor shiv and a tachometer to measure speed. As the governor gains speed, it will engage the hammer assembly and apply tension to the cables. Be sure that it trips at the right speed, which in this case was 400 feet per minute. If adjustment is necessary, loosen the lock nut on the adjusting spring between the governor paws and adjust the spring pressure to achieve the desired trip speed. When the correct speed is attained, tighten the lock nut. Another adjustment is setting the overspeed switch of the governor. Again, using a variable speed electric drill with a drive wheel to rotate the governor's shiv and a tachometer to measure the speed, the setting of the overspeed switch can be adjusted. In this case, the switch tripped at 360 feet per minute, which for this particular governor is the correct setting. The speed adjustments are easily made by loosening this lock nut and turning the speed adjustment screw located behind the yoke of the governor. When proper speed is attained, tighten the lock nut. Some governors are furnished with a mounting for an encoder. It is important to check the alignment of this mounting as during shipping and handling, this mounting may become misaligned. Normally, a visual inspection is all that's necessary to be sure this encoder is properly centered on the unit. To do this, remove the encoder and measure the shaft in relation to the mounting cutout. If the mounting has moved, it can be tapped gently into place using a soft hammer. After this inspection and adjustment, if necessary, simply replace the encoder. Should you have any questions regarding the maintenance and adjustment procedures we have demonstrated in this video, contact Hollister Whitney Elevator Corporation.